Hey guys, it's Luke and Dom from Yak Hunters, and today we're out hitting the uh, Pine River. What are we chasing, Dom? So we've got the uh, the low tide is just about to hit, so we're going to, as the tide changes, uh, go after some dewy, and then after that, uh, now we'll switch up and uh, go to the trusty old flathead. So we're uh, rigged up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, let's go see what we can catch, mate. All right, let's do it. Yeah, so we're heading down to a bridge down here. Um, there's some deep, you know, fairly fast flowing water uh, going past Bylon. So uh, we're gonna sort of throw a few uh, vibes down in that area. Um, could switch up to a paddle tail or two, but uh, basically we're gonna hopefully see them sitting in some deep water um, sort of waiting for a feed coming past the pylon. So uh, fingers crossed we can get onto a couple. And uh, tell you what, even if we don't catch a fish, summer in Queensland is about the best place um, sorry, winter in Queensland would be the best place you could uh, go fishing. It's about 26 degrees here today, middle of July. Go Queensland. She ain't mine, but she looks fine. Gonna take some time, gonna make her mine, gonna make her mine. So uh, Lippy, we're out here today because you told me that apparently there's there's fish. <laughs> yeah, well look, this is um, this is only the second time I've been out here, but uh, last time I came down past the, the bridge, and um, you know it looked like prime Dewey territory, and I was throwing a a little uh, ima, or ima, 90 mil kumi, and uh, yeah, picked up a nice 80 centimetre Dewey. What else? Uh, what else did they find out here? Um, I don't know, man, from what I've heard, it's a good flatty. Um, I think they get Trev's out here too. It's about a 10 meter drop after that bridge, so it's just a big hole, a geographical hole in the water. And yeah, mate, I reckon uh, we could be in with a chance. Got some promising fish, maybe another Dewey. I don't know. So, the Dewey's like to, to hang near the um, the big holes, or what's the, what's the story there? Yeah, man, so I don't know if you can see around us so we, we've got this channel with the current pushing through but anywhere where there's a choke point and a, and a depth hole particularly bridges i mean you know they, they tend to um to dredge it out and there's a nice steep hole there so where you find that sort of choke point where there's a bit of depth change or a big hole um yeah it's generally where you would find you so fingers crossed mate we're uh we'll get back into another one today all right we're closing in on the bridge let's uh, let's do it let's go mate Ladies and gentlemen, here comes everyone's best friend on the water, the humble jet skier. So first up, what I'm throwing is the little Samaki 70 mil vibe. Uh, now this is in the, the pearl shrimp color, and I found it's a really good go-to for pretty much anything. Very versatile lure, so you can get flathead, brim, jewfish will take this. Uh, so hopefully it'll work us a treat out here today. Right, guys, we're just gonna start off today uh, throwing a Samaki 70 mil. Uh, it's one of the most versatile lures um, that you will uh, uh, have in your tackle box so um, you know there's been jewfish caught on these there's been snapper caught on these uh, brim flathead you name it uh, these things absolutely clean up so um, gonna start with the 70 mil version uh, I've got the uh, uh, the 100 mil version as well uh, to throw uh, to uh, see if you can pick up some bigger fish later on uh, but yeah these little guys uh, cost you about uh, anywhere between 18 and, and 20 bucks uh, highly recommend uh, getting your hands on uh, on some of these they uh, they slay just about anything in the water so uh, that's what we're going to throw first 
Um, just heading down to uh, to a bridge now where hopefully there's a few little dewies hiding. Um, fingers crossed that so we'll, uh, we'll get onto a couple. Whole bunch of like little bait fish down there. Could be little leather jacket or something. Just hiding under the bridge there. So, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a heap of scattered bait fish, um, which goes for about 50 meters in this area. So, what I'm gonna do is, pretty much the most efficient way of doing this is just throwing out a lure and trolling through it. Um, so for this, I'm gonna use the, uh, the Imakuma 90. Uh, so, this is a great little lure for, for trolling behind you. And all I'm gonna do is simply, um, chuck it out the back and just paddle back through that um, scattered school of bait fish and hopefully if something's in there chasing them uh, it'll see that slower moving Imakumi and, uh, and have a crack at it so let's see how it goes One thing you can do if you haven't fished in the area very much is ask the locals for any knowledge they might be willing to pass on. How you doing fellas? Any uh, any luck? No, no we just got inside. Oh true. Do you normally fish out here much? Oh not, not, not often. Yeah. Yeah, right. what do you normally get? Uh butted, uh Yeah right. Uh, you never get any. Yeah, any jacks out here? Yeah. yeah, I reckon in that that sort of wreck over there, I'd be a prime spot. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sounding up a lot of stuff, but just getting them to bite's another story. Yeah. That's it, man. All right, boys, good luck. All right, well, we've just done uh, a first pass uh, from the bridge. Uh, you might be able to see behind me. Uh, and the water depth is starting to rise again so we're gonna head back that way but I've seen some really big arches on the sounder between uh, here and and the bridge so I'm gonna change up uh, the tactic and and the lure and I'm gonna throw on a, uh, a fish arrow uh, flash J shad they're four and a half inch uh, this is in um, I think it's oil color and um, so I'm gonna uh, run it on like a half ounce uh, jig head, I think it's a size number six, uh, and just want to slow roll that uh, along the bottom, um, hopefully attracting uh, uh, a big dewy. So, as I said, saw some saw some really big arches. Uh, these um, these little plastics are are amazing. Actually, they they're great on uh, jacks, um, you know, hopefully deweys as well. Um, inside them, I'm not sure whether you can see. There's like a, a piece of foil uh, to be able to bring out some flash, and. Look, the action on them is is pretty crazy as well. So uh, you know, big wobble uh, in the tail. So I'm going to slow roll this uh, along the bottom, uh, trying to uh, attract uh, uh, attract some attention, and uh, we'll do that on the on the second pass uh, on the way through. So big school of trevally, I'd say that is uh, the lowest. So. Uh, we can see, we can get on one.
One thing to keep an eye out for when you're out fishing is the local bird life. Now, just like you, these guys are on the hunt for fish also. However, they generally have a higher viewing platform and a keener sense of eyesight. One bird in particular you want to pay attention to is the egret. Now, these guys will often sit on the bank and hunt for smaller bait fish that may have schooled up somewhere on a bank or a corner. And the reason why they may have schooled there is they've been chased out from the depths by a larger fish. So if you do see an egret uh, somewhere on the bank chasing the smaller bait fish, might be a good place to chuck a lure. See, areas like this are a really good spot to concentrate your fishing. So anywhere that comes into a bay uh, or a choke point from a main sort of channel is a really good spot to find fish. Um, you'll find that the bait schools will tend to congregate around these areas or the larger predatory fish will sit off these points um, as your smaller fish are in that bay and will tend to ambush them at this choke point here. Dom's on. On here. On. Decent fish. Oh, he spat it. Uh, nice to hit. Nice to yeah. hit. Heavy, whatever it is. Yeah, right. This is a four to seven kilo rod, dude. I'm gonna say it's true. Watch out, mate, you hit your line. Certainly does not want to come up. There's the leader. Going all right. Look for silver. Oh, silver, but I don't know what. Silver? Huey. It's a. It's a Trev. Trevi. Bloody picked it. Ah. Trevor. Trevor. Got him a good fight on Trev. Yeah, they, they get heavy.
interesting day out in the water, mate. Uh, you know, beautiful conditions. We've sounded up some fish on the sounder, but uh, they're a little tough to bite. Yeah, so after we got uh, the Trev, um, you know, which I picked up on a 90 mil Samaki vibe, uh, yeah, the uh, the fishing got a little bit tough. So we went around uh, the corner, tried to uh, uh, get a few flatty in a, in a little quiet basin area. Not with uh, any luck at all, unfortunately, but it was a cracking day out on the water and, yeah, really, really enjoyed the conditions. Yeah, so at the end of the day, you know, even if you don't catch any fish, or you do, as long as you're out there having fun, it's a beautiful day and, uh, yeah, really good fun on the water. So we're going to get this uh, video up on our channel, um, which is uh, YH Tube, um, and we're going to be out on the water over uh, the next few weeks kind of trying to document our adventures and uh, and getting stuff uh, some stuff up on uh, on the channel for you but what we would encourage is any of our members to uh, to do the same and we'll uh, get your footage up on our, our channel as well so if you're out there and you've got some tips and tricks and uh, you know, some great captures um yeah we'd love you to, to be able to send it through to us and uh, we will uh, we'll get it up for you lippy how um how can they do that very easy mate so uh if you guys have produced a uh, a little clip of your uh, session or adventure out in the water all you simply need to do is upload that to a Dropbox, okay? From there, you can email that share link to youtube at yakhunters.com. Uh, give us a little bit of info about the day, what you're chasing, what you're using in the email, and uh, yeah, if it's good content, we'll chuck it up on the on the YHTube site, and you can tune in and check out everyone's adventures, not just ours. Nice one, guys. Well, look, that's it from us today, and um, we'll see you out in the water sometime soon. Happy fishing. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.